Let's go check it out and check it out. Now, pretty much Quentin Miller, he escaped the dusty, musty basement of the OVO Ghostwriting Sweatshop. And he's out doing interviews. He did an interview with DJ Vlad. And pretty much he confirmed something. And he's the first person to go on record with speaking about something that we've heard rumors. At least I have. If you don't know it, if you watch me closely, I've kind of made reference to it. But I haven't said it directly because, number one, I can't confirm it. Number two, allegedly there's a video, but no one has ever sent it to me. Okay? But apparently, uh, Quentin Miller was caught lacking in uh, Los Angeles when he ran into Meek Mill. Meek Mill and uh, apparently Meek Mill and Associates. Now, I'm not saying Meek Mill is involved. I don't know who's involved, allegedly. And I'm going by Quentin Miller's word. That's why I'm speaking on it now because he put it out there, okay? And we don't got no videotape. Apparently, there's a videotape, but this is not surface, okay? Now, he basically says, and by the way, if you're wondering where the interview is, link in the description. Go check it out. Please go watch the whole thing. Now, he basically says that he runs into Meek and they have a conversation and they want him to retract Everything he said about Drake or everything he said about Meek, actually, in an open letter he penned. If you guys don't remember the letter, he kind of penned a letter. And even though he didn't mention Meek, he kind of just, like, denied, denied, denied being the person who penned anything for Drake, which made Meek look more like a liar. So, basically, he ran into Meek. Meek, I guess, has a conversation with him. And then, basically, somebody records him or tries to record him either apologizing to Meek. He didn't apologize and apparently punches were thrown, right? Now, what do I think about it, man? I just think it's whack, okay? I mean, I thought it was whack when I first heard it. I was like, nah, no, please don't tell me the game is right here, right? You got to beef with Drake. I mean, the Ghost Rider is not the person you're beefing with. Actually, the Ghost Rider is, and by the way, if you guys don't know, that's the reason why Quentin Miller, I told you guys, Quentin Miller has been dissing Drake and Meek, right? It's kind of odd because you would think, oh, now he's only mad at Drake. But no, he's mad at Drake and Meek because, and to keep the story continue, and I'll tell you exactly what I heard so far. Apparently, after he got punched, right? Of course, he didn't call the cops. You know me, I'm calling the cops. But anyway, after he didn't call the cops, he basically, he then uh, called Drake. So apparently he calls Drake. Drake looks at him, or Drake says to him over the phone, after he said, yo, Drake, y'all ran to them dream chaser niggas, them niggas hooked off on me. He said, damn, yo, what's up? He says, Drake basically says this to him, and I think this is the reason why he don't fuck with Drake no more, too. Drake says to him, allegedly, yo, be safe in the streets, which is fun, funny and fucked up at the same point, because you got a man who wasn't really volunteering to be in the middle of this beef. He basically gets attacked. He calls the dude who basically Meek really wants, which is Drake, and Drake tells him, like, yo, yo, be safe in these streets. Like, yo, stay up, and that's it. So that's the reason why Quentin Miller is a little bit mad at both of them, right? Now, I just think it's a whack move, man. You don't attack the ghost, right? Because the guy, he's honestly just trying to preserve his career. He's not trying to be labeled as a quote-unquote snitch. And he's not trying to just be involved in something he didn't want to get involved in. Now, as far as the rumors of him writing for Meek, right? Uh, there's a big thing that uh, Meek wanted him to ghostwrite some shit. He declined. And that's why the whole thing with DJ Drama and blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure about that. And he won't even confirm that. And I spoke to Meek people and they won't even say nothing about that either. But... Here's the thing, right? I just think it's whack, man. Listen, if you got rap beef with Drake, you got rap beef with Drake. To be honest, Drake don't even care about the guys who are writing for him. Like, there ain't no fucking workers' compensation for the ghostwriters at OVO. He got swung on. He got hit. You basically attacked another rapper who basically has nothing to do with this, and he doesn't have anything to do with Drake at this point. And if you really wanted to prove your point, you would go attack Drake. You know what I mean? Again, he did say it right. He said, Drake is in Atlanta. Why aren't you going at Drake? So, just like I thought before, I just think it's whack, man. I think it's very whack. Um, I'm not sure why it went down like that. I, I voiced my disapproval. I don't think that's something that should be going on. Um, if you got problems or you got a beef with Drake, get at Drake. You know what I mean? Don't get at the people that's surrounding the situation. You got a beef with one guy. Go get at him, all right? And, I mean, Quentin Miller, he said it straight. He said, I'm not no street nigga. I'm not whatever, whatever. Look at Quentin Miller, right? You swing on Quentin Miller, you get no points. I guess they really wanted to catch him on video calling Drake a fraud or basically catch him on video just apologizing to Meek. But, again, you're going at somebody who's not involved. I can't rock with it. I can't co-sign it. And, honestly, I think it's wrong on both parties. I think if Drake actually, because I'm hearing Drake told him on the phone, Yo, be safe in these streets. And I also heard that with um, Meek, I heard, well, he confirmed it. The situation went down. I'm not rocking with that. Okay, get in the comments. If you guys like, definitely subscribe. Come on.